you do some of this computational work at these you know, big scales I'm talking about, and you still very much need historians who want to dig in and study the local, who want to study individuals in history and really tease out their stories. Um, so my hope is that these digital methods complement those methods and that we continue to see both flowering. Um, I, I, don't, I don't quite want there to be a day when sort of every historian is doing big data. I think we need people doing big data and people doing small local data and thinking about how those two things relate to one another. Yeah, what's often lost are the individuals, and this is why we need both approaches. Um, you might be working, again, with, say, census records and learning something about changes in you know, a large population over time. Uh, what that approach isn't going to get you is the individual stories of the people who were tabulated by that census, and those individual stories are really important as well.